From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. The new coronavirus emergency powers will be extended to August 13th. Prime Minister Minnis tabling a resolution yesterday in the House confirming that. The Prime Minister making it clear they're hoping to remove it before then. But that is going to depend on how people buy in on vaccination and the protocols in place. I hope that uh, with the vaccination and with the cooperation with our populace and following the mitigation protocols of the pandemic, that we would see a a turn once that commenced. We would love to uh, remove all emergency power orders so that individuals can return back to their normal life. The House is scheduled to debate that resolution tomorrow. It's expected to pass and be sent to the Senate for approval there. Additional changes coming with the new orders. No curfew for Abaco, Eleuthera, and Exuma. Fully vaccinated people will be able to dine indoors Monday through Saturday. And some travel restrictions will be lifted for fully vaccinated people also, including no need to take a test to travel from the capital and Grand Bahama. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The latest coronavirus numbers are in, and it shows another death. A 56-year-old New Providence man who died on May 15th is the latest victim of the virus. That takes the toll to 221 now. 41 confirmed cases reported for Sunday spread over four islands, the capital, Andros, Grand Bahama, and the Berries, 28 in the capital, 9 in Andros. 46 persons remain in hospital, with eight of them now in the ICU. Another warning from the Ministry of Agriculture's Food Safety Authority. Be cautious about eating raw conch right now. Officials are still trying to determine the source of the contamination that led to recent poisoning cases. Police continue their investigations into those weekend murders reported here in the capital. They haven't released any IDs yet. Ground Bahama police offered grief counseling to help them deal with the apparent suicide of a fellow officer. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area now. Mostly sunny, turning windy today. Highs in the low to mid-80s. 83 at Freeport, 85 in the capital, 84 at Matthewtown. Caution flags are for boaters. Winds getting up to 20, 25 knots. The seas up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now. The next high around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines No diplomatic solution to the Middle East conflict as yet, and the death toll continues to increase. Hamas continues to send rockets into Israel, and the Israelis continue their air attacks on targets in Gaza. More than 200 persons have died in the ongoing conflict, more than 50 of them are children. The U.S. and other countries continue to try and negotiate an end, but so far neither side appears to be willing to back down. U.S. President Biden has announced that the country will be donating 80 million coronavirus vaccines to other countries through the COVAX program. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 491, SO 494, Ruiz $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on our beach soccer team competing in Costa Rica. The Tribune Sports has the details. There's a Serena Williams sighting in the Tribune Sports. The latest on international soccer and a chat with swimmer Laura Morley in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. Along with the latest on Major League Baseball 
and the NBA ready for the playoffs. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com. <laughs> 